Welcome, Memory Bound friends. It's Tuesday, so that means we have a new technique. Today, I'm going to share with you a fun project using Wendy Vecchi's new background stamp. Wendy Vecchi's background stamp is a custom plaid, which means you can make it any kind of plaid you want. You know how if you're always looking for a plaid in the store and you're looking for just the right colors and you can't find it? Well, you get to custom make yours. In the package, you also get two stencils that go with it. You want to cut your paper six by six. That's a little bigger than the stamp. And the reason for that is you want to have a little room for your magnets. And I'm going to show you what happens if you make it too little like I did the first time. See that little magnet spot? You're, you're going to want to, to ink it with uh, the archival ink, which is the permanent ink. And if you wanted to, you could use other colors. Um, we have archival ink in lots of different colors, but we've got some space around it, which is fine because we'll cut it down to the size we need. You have about a five by five plaid spot. This is where the fun begins. I am using Pixie Spray, and Pixie Spray is what you spray on the back of um, stencils, and you wait a minute, and then you can lay them on and they stay in place, so you don't have to try to use your fingers and and to hold it in place. Now there's two of them. One is little skinny openings. One is a little bit wider opening. So I'm gonna start with the wider openings and I'm going to put my pixie side down and I'm going to expose just that part and see how that sticks on there and it's just going to be so nice because usually I'm sitting there trying to hold it in all these different places. I'm going to use worn lipstick and I'm going to use the Picket Fence uh, Life Changing brushes and I'm going to ink and the more you go over and over is the brighter and more deeper color you get. See how that pixie dust just kind of holds it in place? This is I have to confess, this is my first time trying it and it is quite wonderful. Another good thing about making your paper bigger than what you need it is I can get kind of messy and I don't have to worry about going over the edges. Now we're gonna take off and I, I read that you can use this pixie spray again and again. So I'm gonna lay it over here upside down. But now we've got the one side. So now I'm gonna take the smaller and you can kind of shift it whichever way you want. So I'm gonna shift it according to these lines. I'll try mustard seed yellow. We're gonna kind of go with some Easter colors here. And again, because we put that pixie stuff on there, look at how nice it sticks. Okay, so here is your second layer. And notice how I left little white lines and you can leave those white just for the fun of it. Let's turn it and let's do this. It's kind of, you just play around with it. I'm going to use peel paint. And let's see what happens. And by putting the green on top, the pink and the yellow, we're gonna end up with some different colors. Okay, let's see if this worked. And there you have a different, different level of Color. Let's put this stencil here. And then because we have the pixie dust, we're going to do this. So now we're only exposing just real fine little lines. And I think we'll go back and do the pink in that. Just look at the fun. That's why it's called custom, because you could take your child's picture in a plaid shirt, and you could almost reproduce that, that shirt. Let's see what happens. Okay, so now we have a different, well, let's turn it around and let's do that same thing, only we're gonna narrow it down even more. And we're gonna get rid of the white. Okay, and we'll do this last row. And now we have this. Isn't that pretty? These two, I used the same exact ink. For the light ink, I used milled, milled lavender. For the darker, I used seedless preserves. 
This one was done on craft. This one was done on white. Same, pretty much the same thing, but look at the difference in the, the colors. When it says custom, it really means custom. You can design your plaid any kind you want white with you just black soot and hickory smoke. This one was peeled paint and I think a walnut stain on craft. This is evergreen bow and fossilized amber. I was trying to go for um, Ankeny school colors, so I used aged mahogany and um, probably mustard seed and, aged, and black soot, yes. This one could be almost used for um, Ankeny centennial colors. But look at the fun you could have. You could just keep making all these and have all sorts of pieces ready for a car. Andy Vecchi, thank you for sharing this with us. It's um, called Background Stamp Custom Plaid. And this is the Pixie Spray, and this was really, this was great today. So I've, I just tried it for the first time and I really liked it. So thank you for stopping in and have fun making all your custom plaids.